Well, joining us from our Abuja studio is the Force PRO, Jimo Mashud. Good to have you with us on the News Hour. So let's bring this matter into perspective now. How do you respond to these concerns raised by Nigerians on the alleged harassment by the SARS official? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'll first of all start saying that uh, the Nigerian police force is a law-abiding organization and we respect the right um, and the, uh, uh, the opinion of people most time has, has to do with their uh, right of uh, expressing themselves as uh, provided for in the Constitution. But I have said that it's important for people to also know that as a public organization that is a subject of public opinion, uh, we have to grapple with the responsibility of educating the public any time a matter comes up in this regard. Uh, first of all, the issue of people calling for scrapping or such, uh, it, uh, it's quite unfortunate that people are not well educated about the role and responsibility of the special uh, anti court in the Nigerian police force. Uh, it is incumbent on the Nigerian police force and equally on me as the first public relations officer uh, to educate the public. Uh, it has, uh, SARS has been an, a detachment of the force uh, which has been there for over 40 years now and uh, they specifically dealt with uh, armed robbery cases, robbery cases, and other related violent crime or probably any other serious crime that deem necessary for them to investigate and ensure that perpetrators are arrested. Uh, and uh, there's, uh, it, is, uh, it is there for public to know and uh, it is very clear without doubt that uh, special anti robbery squad of country have been making signal progress in the area of fighting violent crimes such as armed robbery and the likes. And for this, uh, it's important for the force to continue to sustain such an organization. Uh, we have to know what is, where this outcry is coming from, first of all, and for who, what purpose and for what interest. Uh, people who have complained uh, against SARS, and not only SARS, including other police detachments, have opportunity to promptly report their complaint against our personnel. And the Nigerian police force, as one of the organizations that ensure that any officer that found culpable or found wanting in, in, the, in either in action or actions that violate people's rights are apprehended and properly there with in line with the law. So having said this, uh, it, it would be wrong for anybody to call for uh, scraping of such in, in, in the best interest of the nation. SARS should continue to be there to deal with uh, uh, robbery cases and other related uh, violent crime. I want to say that earlier today the Inspector General of Police have directed reorganization of the special anti robbery squads across the country. Uh, we have a situation now where uh, there is not going to be SARS at the, at the command or probably at the division level. We are going to have a unified federal SARS, uh, and that's a federal SARS in the sense that a federal special anti robbery is called. And this uh, new arrangement has a commissioner of police in charge, and the commissioner of police will be domiciled at the first headquarters under the Department of Operation uh, to fine tune uh, this uh, uh, new, Mr. Uh, uh, new uh, uh, introduction into SARS. Mr. Moshu, thank you for educating Nigerians yes, on, this, on. on the statutory function of uh, the SARS. But really what we want you to do is confirm or refute the allegations leveled against your men. For instance, there's a report here by uh, um, a popular Nigerian newspaper which says that a lady, Kachi Anifela Zion, accused officers of SARS in Ilori of sexual molestation. She said a male SARS official, under the pre pretense of searching her, dipped his hand in her underwear and he continued that for a long time. So are you confirming this series of allegations? Or are you refuting them? And what is the force doing to discipline such men found culpable? Uh, thank you so much. I'm refuting this because uh, we don't have it in our record and it is important for the person that uh, has experienced this who are victim of this to promptly report. Uh, equally, if time permits, if you allow me, I'm going to read out uh, some certain number of the, because uh, the Inspector General of Police, in addition to his directive for reorganization of uh, uh, Special anti robbery Squad to make it now federal SARS, I've equally directed that all complaint allegations or probably uh, anybody that have uh, reports or uh, 
or complain against such action in the past or present, should the uh, escort of the force should undo all the investigation. And the escort of the force will equally move around the country to ensure that uh, the directive of the IG is properly enforced. Uh, if uh, the lady uh, is quite unfortunate that such can happen, but uh, I'm refuting it because we don't have it in our record. Investigation starts from complaint. Anybody that has been violated should promptly report to the nearest police station or to any superior police officer around there. So, uh, so you, you, that does not mean have we are not going to investigate it. In your uh, the lady Hello, should Mr. come Jimo. forward. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You say you do not have this uh, records in your this report in your record, but some have said some Nigerians claim, or some have said that the SARS officials are not known to wear uniforms. They are always seen in muftis and some are without any proper means of identification. So, how do you respond to this allegation as well? Uh, thank you so much. You know, because of the covert operation, the SARS operative engage on most of the time. It is quite uh, not going to be easy for them to go around the mark vehicle or in police uh, uh, uniform. Uh, there's a specialized uniform designed for them, which is black, and they it's expected of them to write uh, federal SARS as it is now behind their back and equally in the front of the jacket they are wearing. Because uh, you discover that where somebody, uh, robbers are engaging, or probably there's a robbery attack and SARS are called in, it is good for them to be undercover while approaching the robbery scene. And it quite, it takes a lot of time when it comes to the issue of approaching a robbery scene. A, an officer so deployed will have to be very, very professional so that you don't go and end up killing innocent people that must have, must have escaped from the scene. And the, uh, it, uh, the wearing uniform uh, will make it, a, uh, make it much more obvious for the criminal that the special anti robbery squad are coming and it can equally endanger their life. So, and that is why uh, and for every SARS personnel that is stopping you or flanking you down, you will see it boldly written as federal SARS. And you can go further to seek for identification card from such a personnel, uh, which will uh, immediately be obliged to you. Uh, but having said that, it is quite uh, also good uh, for the public to know that it is in the interest of the public that federal SARS continue to operate and they continue to cooperate with, with us. Where there's any infraction or probably any complaint, they should probably report to the IGP escort. Uh, if you permit me uh, to go ahead, they can report to IGP escort on 0902-690-0729. This one is true call. Uh, they can also send SMS to 0903-2278905. SMS. SMS. Or probably WhatsApp can get to the IGP escort 0903-562-1377 or through their email, which is integrity escort at gmail.com. Uh, we equally have circulated uh, all those uh, uh, details of where they can send their complaint through the first public complaint bureau and equally that of uh, public complaint rapid response unit is there in the net for people to check. And all right. uh, we we'll continue to emphasize that SAS is an integral part of, uh, uh, of the police detachment that carry a core police duty in ensuring that people are safe in their homes and in their office and other places. All right. Lastly, home. before so we let you go, PR, PR, uh, Mr. Jimo Moshud, why did the police force reinstate DSP Ibrahim Danjuma who was accused of killing six people in Apple when the case is still in court. Uh, thank you so much. I think this case I've been there with in court and uh, I don't speak for the Police Service Commission. The Police Service Commission have done what is righteous in the matter because uh, if you are accused of an offence and you are taken to court and uh, I believe every Nigerian has the information with them that he has been discharged and acquainted and the Police Service Commission uh, considers such and uh, directed that the police should reinstate him. So and uh, we, the Police Service Commission, are our employer and we have to obey any directive emanating from the Commission. So uh, 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 there is no issue of uh, somebody killing. Somebody has been alleged to have killed and was taken to court. Uh, others that were equally taken to court by the police in that regard, some of them were convicted while he was uh, uh, discharged and acquainted. I think it is important for people to get to court and get the uh, ruling of court uh, so that they can be properly guided and be educated on this matter. So police service commission have done within their responsibility and the act establishing the commission to reinstate any officer uh, who have been found not to be culpable, who have been found to be innocent uh, in any matter before them. All right, let's leave it for now. Thank you very much, uh, Jimo Mashud, for your insights on the issue pertaining to security in Nigeria.